This Orchid Care video is a part of a series that will address orchid care according to ChatGPT4. I would encourage you to listen carefully to the commentary as I will be using what ChatGPT4 gave me verbatim. Your feedback in the comments is appreciated because I am super interested what your take is on the information, be it good, bad or indifferent. The only addition to what comes next is me saying thank you so much for clicking on this video, I appreciate your support, and I will be revisiting ChatGPT software every time a new version comes out, just to see if the transformers are getting smarter and more detailed. By the way, the phalaenopsises in bloom that you will see in this video are homegrown by a human, not by some artificial intelligence. So welcome to how to care for phalaenopsis orchids according to chat GPT-4. Phalaenopsis orchids are also known as moth orchids are popular orchids known for their beautiful and long-lasting flowers. Here are some general guidelines for Phalaenopsis orchids. Light Place your Phalaenopsis orchid in a location with bright, indirect light. Avoid direct sunlight as it can burn the leaves. East or west-facing windows are usually suitable. If growing indoors, supplemental artificial light can be provided using fluorescent or LED grow lights. Temperature Phalaenopsis orchids thrive in temperatures between 60 degrees Fahrenheit, 15 degrees Celsius, and 80 degrees Fahrenheit, 27 degrees Celsius during the day. They can tolerate slightly cooler temperatures at night, around 55 degrees Fahrenheit, 13 degrees Celsius, to 65 degrees Fahrenheit, 18 degrees Celsius. Humidity Maintain humidity levels around 50 to 70 percent. You can increase humidity by placing the orchid on a tray filled with water and pebbles or using a humidifier. Misting the leaves can also help, especially in drier environments. Watering Water your Phalaenopsis orchid thoroughly when the potting medium feels dry to the touch. Avoid overwatering as it can lead to root rot. It is generally better to underwater slightly than to overwater. Watering every 7 to 10 days is a good starting point, but adjust the frequency based on your specific conditions. Potting medium and pot. Phalaenopsis orchids are often potted in a well-draining medium such as bark or sphagnum moss. Use a pot with drainage holes to ensure excess water can escape. Fertilization Feed your orchid with a well-balanced orchid fertilizer at half the recommended strength every two to four weeks during the growing season, spring and summer. Reduce or stop fertilizing during the winter months or when the orchid is not actively growing. Air circulation Good air circulation is important for Phalaenopsis orchids. Avoid placing them in stagnant air or in overly humid areas. Repotting Phalaenopsis orchids generally need to be repotted every one to two years or when the potting medium starts to break down or the orchid outgrows its pot. Repotting is best done after the orchid has finished blooming and new root growth is visible. Pruning Remove spent flower spikes by cutting them back to a node near the base. This encourages the orchid to produce new spikes. Trim any dead or yellowing leaves or roots as needed. Air circulation. Provide good air circulation around your orchid, which helps prevent the growth of fungal or bacterial diseases. Avoid placing it in stagnant air or areas with poor ventilation. Monitoring. Regularly check your orchid for signs of pests such as aphids, mealybugs, or scale insects. Treat any infestations promptly using appropriate pest control methods. Remember that individual Phalaenopsis orchids may have specific care requirements, and factors like the environment, potting medium, and specific variety can influence their needs. By observing your orchids closely and adjusting care as needed, you can help it thrive and produce beautiful blooms. 
So that was the extent of the ChatGPT4 guide on how to care for phalaenopsis orchids. <laughs> Before I sign off, would you take a moment to like the video and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so, that support goes a long way, it is so appreciated, as is your time watching the video, as well as your input in the comments, because as I'm reading through all the things that ChatGPT4 is providing me, I have my thoughts, but I want to hear from you, what do you say about it? And maybe in a couple of months, that information may just end up already being included in the next version. So we'll just have to wait and see how this artificial intelligence is going to evolve into something where we're like going, nailed it. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. Have yourself a fabulous day. On that one condition though, please, that you stay safe. Take care. Bye.